Yeah, what I'll do is, I, you know what, uh, I had to do this a few times already, so what I'll do is I'll walk you through how it started. Is uh, My son called me just before school, about 15 minutes before school was the let out. He heard about eight shots. He was running from the school. He had to jump a fence to get out. Oh. And his main concern was his sister, who was still in the school, um, which when I found out that this, the shooting was in the freshman hall where she is, I was actually able to get a hold of her. She was whispering, of course, as she was hi- hiding, mm-hmm. um, and then the phone went dead. And then, of course, for the next 30-plus minutes, you know, it was very, very much terrifying 30 minutes of my life. But, um, you know, I, I'm i lucky I have some friends who work with the uh, Coral Springs PD. I was able to get some information that SWAT got her out a little while ago. So, um, you know, it's just a very unfortunate thing. It's a great community, and you never think that it'll happen. Was she? Even was though she, you, go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. Was she then hiding with other students? Where was she? Yes, she was in the freshman hall in her classroom. Remember, I she called me once SWAT got her out. So you're talking. She's a 14 year old girl who's obviously in a state of deep shock right now. Right, you know, right. someone she was throwing up. You know, she saw what she said are dead bodies, and supposedly oh. her teacher was shot and killed as well. But. Oh. I'm not confirming that because this is, once again, a 14-year-old girl who's in shock. Sure. Doesn't know exactly what she could have been injured people on the ground. You know, I, I feel for the other families, you know. Yeah, Joel, I mean, are you hearing anything more about the injuries? You know, we can only confirm no. that one person did, but we've also heard that multiple people uh, well, were injured. And that sounds like that's what your daughter told you as well. Yeah, and from earlier, you know, I heard that it was, I was told that it was a former student. I'm not going to mention names, of course. Um and supposedly now I, I hear they just now they have someone in custody. Mm-hmm. But what I was told from a, a source within the department that it was a former student of Douglas High School. Like like former student is in much older or or like a recent uh, student. That I, had been I I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't answer that part. I'm not sure. You know, all I was told was it was a former student of the school, an ex an ex student of the school, uh, and Joel. um. Hello. Yeah, Joel. Do you have any insight on on? You know, it's it seemed as if it took officers, you know, quite some time to to, to get this shooter. It, Actually, it it within the school itself, the reaction time was very quick. The Broward Sheriff's Office maintains presence at the school, which student resource officers they they plan for things such as this. I mean, it's an unfortunate incident. There's you're never going to be able to stop. So I, I hate to say this, it's this day and age, and not just America but the world, you know, and um. You have people out there who are defective, and people need to take responsibility for their children and start raising them. And, you know, someone has to know there's something wrong with an individual like this. Joel, is this a neighborhood school where students from the um, area of where the school is located, yes. they come in? Yes, all local students. It's in a, uh, uh, an affluent area of northwest Broward County, uh, Parkland, Coral Springs area. Students go there. Um, we've never had any incidents. I'm sure there's fights that take place at a school like in any large school. Douglas happens to be in the top 1% uh, in the uh, country in public schools for testing and so forth. So it's a very, very, you know, you would never expect something like this to happen, even though inside you always think that you got to prepare for it. Joel, we have great news right now coming in, some good news at least. Uh, Broward County Sheriff is actually confirming now that the shooter is in custody, and we've seen images yes. of him. Yes, okay. Yeah. So this is... But they, you how? know, the, the, the reaction time, I mean, of someone getting into a school and pulling a trigger, you know, it's it's unfortunate, but, um, you know, you can't be in all places at one time, but, uh, you know, they, BSO, I think they saved a lot of lives uh, reacting pretty quick. Uh, Joel, can you tell me if they have school resource officers that are Absolutely. actually at the school, or how many do they have there at the school? I, I'm not sure how many they have there at the school, but I, I think that the BSO uh, has a full-time presence at the school, the Broward Sheriff's Office that uh, handles the policing for the city of Parkland. Joe, we're also hearing that there's a, a parent staging area uh, being set up for those parents, I, I guess, who have not yet been um, as fortunate as you to be reunited with, yeah. with your... Well, I'm in Dallas, I'm in Dallas Texas, Texas okay. right now, catching an airplane back, so my wife is handling that right now. You know, we've just gotten word, too, from the Sun Sentinel that multiple deaths. They are reporting yeah, multiple deaths. My poor just, daughter was witness so to that, and, um, you know, I don't know. I don't know.
know what to tell you, but it's just a uh, just sad state of events that happened here. You know, and uh, it's very difficult to deal with. I can't yeah. imagine. I, I, I'm Joel. You've only uh, spoke with your 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 daughter after the SWAT you know brought her out. Yes. Uh, what else did she she tell you? And and how does a she, how does a parent recover or a child recover from uh, uh, such an emotional uh, trauma? Listen, I could tell even though she was trying to be normal. She absolutely was not in what she was saying. She was just, uh, her, her next statement was, I don't want to go back to public school again, even though she's been in private, she's been in private school most of her life. But I don't think that has any bearing on it whatsoever. You know, it could have happened at a private school. It could happen anywhere. Right. But uh, she's just, you know, she, she saw dead bodies. Her, her teacher's dead. You know, um, it's horrible, you know. I mean, I just want to get home to her. Yeah, you need to get home to her, absolutely. And your son, how is he doing? He was he's doing much better. He was, of course, freaking out at the time. Yes. You know, it's, which is, his, once again, he was safe, but his, his main concern was that of his sister being safe. And I, I know you have some information that's really not concerned, uh, confirmed about the shooter, but is there anything that you, that you know that you could tell us about a possible, a possible motive as to why? No, just, you know... All I was told is that it was a former student, and um, I, I was actually given a name, but I'm not going to state that right now for obvious reasons. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Joel, we um, uh, appreciate your time uh, speaking with you. We are, are so uh, happy that your two kids are okay. Okay. And, okay. Um, I, I have to go now into the airport. Thank okay, you. Take care. Thank right, you, Take Joel. care, Joel. Uh, that was Joel